So we discussed in the last video that Mercury uh, appears to be sort of this all-core planet. So where maybe a normal planet or maybe even Mercury at one point might have looked something like this with a bunch of heavy iron and things in the, in the core and a bunch of lighter silicates out near the crust. For some reason now, Mercury seems to behave density-wise like it's really just all this. For some reason, that's what just drives the density. So let's take a look here. This would be, of course, the side-by-side -side comparison or just a shot of the Moon and Mercury. And the sizes aren't quite right here, but this is Mercury right here, of course, right here with all of its craters. This is our Moon over here with all of its craters and the Marian things. You can see the comparison of the two. So you can see the size difference here between Mercury and the Earth, even though this little planet here carries the same density, you know, a couple exclamation points there, a small planet like that. Similar density to that big old Earth sitting there. And so... This is sort of what Mercury looks like from a core point of view here. So the Earth is over here. You can see just everything looks kind of like quote-unquote normal. There's a core right here, which is all the, the heavy stuff that differentiate to the bottom, molten core, and this is the mantle and the crust that we live on. You definitely have the layers here. This is what Mercury looks like. So it just has this huge core sitting in here, surrounded by sort of a thinner outer layer like that. And so Mercury is sort of like as we said here, sort of like an all-core planet. And it's sort of a curious thing. Okay, so the question is like, well, how did that happen? How did Mercury become sort of an all-core planet based on that density? Well, there's a couple theories. The first theory is that it was just too hot because it's so close to the sun and maybe all the silicates and lighter things melted. Could be. Number two, remember there's the solar wind. Maybe that just blew away all silicates and lighter elements. That could be too. We discussed that with the nebula hypothesis that in general the solar wind did kind of clear out the inner solar system of these lighter materials. But the most accepted theory on this is that at some point Mercury had a huge collision. A huge collision like something big just hit it hard and here's a graphic that sort of illustrates that for you here something like this this is what a com computer simulation would would do here so here's here's mercury right here maybe in some former state like it was more like normal it had a core like this and it had some of the lighter silicates up near the top look like this but then suddenly this thing comes in and just hits it really hard you know blammo kind of thing a huge collision like that and just blew all of its lighter core uh, mantle and crust parts away. So here's the collision right here in sort of a computer simulation. And so that's number one, it comes in and hits it like that. Number two, it doesn't even look like a planet anymore. But number three, the only thing that seemed to survive the collision was part of that original core that gave Mercury a sort of a, a more normal structure back then. So that's sort of the maybe interesting thing number one on Mercury here, if you're sort of curious and uh, solidifying your answer on question number 26 something interesting about all planets. Uh, something interesting about Mercury is definitely the story of its density and sort of this this all-core mode that it's in and how iron-rich it is. Okay, so next thing on Mercury will be its magnetic field.